Late on the 5th, Earth aligned with Venus and Uranus. So far, no seismic increase occurred other than a 5.6 in the Molokka Sea. Tomorrow and the day after, we have four alignments converging. This is due to a quadruple alignment, a near quadruple alignment between Mercury, the Sun, Earth and Uranus. And it always results in four alignments. Two alignments in the second half of 8 November and the other two alignments in the morning of the 9th. In the solar system, we see the four celestial bodies, Mercury, Sun, Earth and Uranus in an alignment. And the alignments are pretty close, within 24 hours, as we have seen. And on top of that, the Moon aligns with them as well. We see, if we go up here, the Moon facing Uranus, making a conjunction with Uranus and an opposition with the Sun and Mercury in a very short time. And that means that we have a full Moon at the same time. Here, we see the full Moon between 10 11 UTC with Mercury on the other side of the Sun. And in Sol page we see that the Moon aligns with the planets involved in the quadruple alignment in a very short time from 10 to 1900 hours. The Moon opposite Mercury at 10.01 UTC followed by the Moon opposite the Sun, that's the full Moon at 10.21. This is not observation time by the way, this is geometric time. Then conjunct Uranus at 12.08 UTC and finally the Moon opposite Venus at 19.10 UTC. On the SGI graph, we see the critical geometry converging on 8 and 9 November. We see the lunar peak, the full moon as well. We see that part of the planetary geometry comes after the lunar peak. This is the green peak, which means that the next lunar peak may also have a seismic increase as a result of this planetary geometry. So we could see a seismic increase, maybe even the largest seismic increase around the 11th. Also note Earth's alignment with Venus and Uranus later on the 5th. So far no seismic increase and now we are approaching the next lunar peak later today, early tomorrow. And we could see the seismic increase as a result of that planetary geometry later today or early on November 8th. So we could already see a seismic increase with this rising lunar peak even before the critical planetary geometry, the quadruple alignment primarily and the full moon. It is difficult to say anything about magnitude. It very much depends on the stress levels in Earth's crust. We could see a couple of sixes, we could see a high six, but we could also see a high seven as a result. And that could be around the 11th, could be earlier, around the 9th, instantly following the planetary geometry, the quadruple alignment here. So if you keep in mind the planetary geometry later on the 5th, later on the 7th, later today that is, and early tomorrow, could be critical. We could see a high six, maybe even magnitude seven. And then we have the critical planetary geometry on November 8 and 9 and a full moon. And that makes 9, 10, 11 pretty critical. We could see a high 7. It's been a while since we've seen such a major seismic event or even worse in a worst case scenario. But again, it very much depends on the stress levels in Earth's crust. Maybe we'll see a couple of 6s. It's very difficult to make any estimation here. In any case, from the 7th to the 11th, is going to be more critical and there's a higher probability of increased seismic activity. I also try to pinpoint locations, but only when possible. And we look at atmospheric fluctuations like on November 5th, indicating the region from Alaska in the north, Aleutian Islands, down to the south tip of Chile. But this is an estimate, it could be wrong and it could be off the purple band here as well. The latest fluctuation was yesterday and it indicated the region from west of Lake Baikal in the north down to northwestern Australia. And it could be a bit off, it could be the Philippines, it could also be uh, for Sumatra. And keep in mind, it is an indication and other regions are certainly not excluded. It certainly isn't perfect, but it is the best option that we have currently to pinpoint possible locations that could be next for increased seismic activity. So a quadruple alignment in the next two days following Earth's alignment with Venus and Uranus two days ago. It's an interesting configuration here of the planets and we could see a considerable seismic increase from the 7th to the 11th. Be safe everyone, until next time.